Hello and welcome. In this training program, we will understand about autoclave, its function, importance of steam, how autoclave works, and other various functions of the autoclave. So let's begin. So what is an autoclave? An autoclave is like a large pressure cooker. It operates by using steam under pressure as a high sterilizing agent. High pressures enable the steam to reach high temperatures, thus increasing the, its heat content and killing power. Autoclave and steam sterilizer works are used for the same equipment interchangeably. Charles Chamberland invented first real steam sterilizer in 1880. The first steam sterilizer looked like a pressure cooker and also worked in the same way. So it was like a pressure cooker and also working in the same, press, same fashion as the pressure cooker works. Modern steam sterilizer have a very different design. Let's understand. So how steam kills microorganisms? Autoclave operates using steam under high pressure as a stylizing agent. High pressure enables steam to reach high temperatures, thus increasing heat content and killing power. Most of the heat power of the steam comes from its latent heat of vaporization. This is the amount of heat required to make water hot. So that is the latent of heat, heat of vaporization, which then ultimately used for the heat transfer and killing of the microorganisms. It takes 80 calories to make one liter to boil, but 540 calories to convert that boiling water to the steam. So that is latent heat of vaporization. Therefore, steam at 100 degrees Celsius has almost seven times more heat than the boiling water. Steam is able to penetrate objects with cooler temperatures because once the steam contacts a cooler surface, immediately it condenses to water, producing a Concomitant 1874 degrees in the steam volume. So, steam comes, steam cool, transfers the latent heat of vaporization, it cools, which creates a negative pressure into the chamber. It draws more steam to the chamber. This creates a more steam to the chamber. Condensation continues slow, so long as the temperature of condensing surface is less than that of a steam. Once temperature equilibrate within the chamber, a saturated steam environment is formed. <clears throat> Moist heat is thought to kill microorganisms by causing coagulation of essential proteins. So how it occurs? The so van heat is used as a stylizing agent. The vibratory motion of every molecule of a microorganism is increased to levels that induces a cleavage of intramolecular hydrogen bonds between proteins. Then that is therefore caused by an accumulation of irreversible damage to all metabolic function of the organism. So when we apply heat, it increases the vibratory motion of every molecule of the microorganisms to a level that induces cleavage to intramolecular hydrogen bonds between proteins and this ultimately kills the microorganism. So this is now I think clear that how steam kills the microorganism. Now, what is the importance of steam quality? So saturated steam is required for the steam sterilization one. So superheated steam causes steam sterilization failure due to the lack of heat transfer to the load content. So superheated steam will act like a hot air. It will not contact to the surface, not transfer heat, latent heat of vaporization to the content. And then it will just touch and go like dry, dry air or hot air. And, by this, the latent heat of vaporization will not be transferred. Unsaturated steam contains water droplets, lacks sufficient heat. Unsaturated steam has a water droplet, so it, it will not have sufficient heat for the steam sterilization, causes weight packs in the load. It will cause weight packs, means water will be transferred to the content, and it will, it will make the contents weight, but it will not sterilize it. So what are the measures of steam quality, which are as follows? So first is non-condensable gases, NCG. So what is NCG? Air and other gases which air and other gases within the steam which do not condense under the conditions of the steam sterilization prevent the attainment of sterilization condensation in any part of the load. So we, these are the non-condensable gases into the steam. They will not condense, they will not transfer heat 
so if the content of this ncg is high within the steam then that that will impact the cooling or heating efficiency of the steam the limit is less than or equal to 3.5% there are there is a sophisticated instrument comes which can measure the steam quality now comes to the superheat what is superheat steam whose temperature at any given pressure is higher than that indicated by the equilibration curve for the vaporization of water and the value is less than or equal to 25 degrees so this is superheat is steam where the temperature is higher than the equilibration curve dryness value the dryness is a fraction of measure of the amount of moisture carried by the steam being supplied and used for the sterilization so how dry steam is it sounds strange but steam should be dry if more of water droplets then the heating capacity of steam will be less so dryness fraction is the measure which is the amount of moisture carried by, by the steam being supplied and used for the sterilization the value is 0.90 to 0.95 and contaminants so clean steam should be tested as per the european pharmacopeia or as per en 285 so this makes the clear what is the importance of steam, what is steam quality and how why it is important now let's understand why air must be removed in the steam sterilization air does not mix readily with steam air will not mix with the steam air is heavier than the steam and sinks to the bottom of the chamber so if there is lot of air within the chamber then the your bottom will be occupied by the heavier air and that part will not be sterilized if the items to be sterilized are wrapped too tightly then the entrapped air cannot escape from cooling packets inside the packets preventing steam from reaching sufficient temperature to kill all the microorganisms within the wrapped container so if the content is tightly wrapped then steam will not be able to penetrate and it will not get sterilized entrapped air pocket touches the surface impairing killing effect of the steam air will touch the surface it will not allow steam to contact and then the heating capability of the steam will not be utilized that part will remain cooler and it will not get sterilized heat carrying capacity of air is much less than the steam so air can be heated but it will not have the that capacity of killing power as the steam so air will not be able to kill the microorganisms within the steam sterilization chamber debris in drain strainer may form air level in the drain if there is a debris there is particle there are glass particles there some something left over it will form air level which will prevent the prevent the heat effective operation of steam sterilizer it will cause it will not allow the condensate to drain out it will accumulate condensate and ultimately it can impact the steam sterilizer function air is any machine so heat power is steam so all the heat power within the autoclave is because of steam air is any so in this picture you can clearly see if there is air pocket if there is air pocket then steam plus air that will not be able to penetrate to the pack and if the microorganisms or spores are there that will not be killed so the placement of the content should be free there should be some space there should be some circulation of the steam the trays or the shelves which are used in a trolley to load the content to the water they should have perforations to allow free flow of steam through the chamber through the load why air must be removed the steam non condensable gases so gases that cannot be liquefied by the compression under the condition used in the sterilization cycle non condensable gas do not contact expand like steam move to an area of the lower velocity of the steam sterilization that will be steam gas mix sources are air sources of air are open door piping steam supply if there is a leakage if there is a leakage in piping if the steam is not saturated then it can carry air lower temperature can insulate items impact cycle that is 10% of air will lower the incoming steam temperature by 7 degree fahrenheit 10% of air is there then it will decrease the steam temperature by 7 degree fahrenheit so steam will not be able to achieve the sterilization temperature co2 can dissolve in the condensate 
can form carbonic acid and it is corrosive to metal pipe. So if there is CO2 in the steam, then it can condense it and form a carbonic acid which can induce corrosion to the metal pipes. And oxidation from the dissolved water, that is also a non-condensable gas. Wet steam is a concern. Why? If steam is not saturated, if steam has a lot of water depth, then wet steam has a less energy than dry steam and it can cause weight loss. The packaging used for the sterile products, bacterial retentive properties will be adversely affected by the moisture. The package, the wrapping paper, the biobreathable paper, the protective paper, what we call. If wet steam is there, then it will wet that paper and will affect the penetration of the steam. And this is caused by the improper header or steam supply. If the steam supply is not proper, the steam generation is not proper, the entire distribution is not proper, if there are no vehicles to remove condenser, then it can have a water droplets and it will cause the wet steam. Equilibration time. So what is an equilibration time? So as per EN 285 2016, equilibration time is the period which elapses between the attainment of the sterilization temperature at the reference measure point point and the attainment of the sterilization temperature at the, all the points within the load. Equilibration time is fixed based on the chamber size. So if your chamber size is less than 800 liter, then equilibration time is 15 seconds. And if the chamber is more than 800 liter, then equilibration time is 30 seconds. So let's deeply understand. Period which elapses between the attainment of the sterilization temperature at the reference measurement point where we are controlling our temperature sensor for the cycle and attainment of the sterilization temperature within the all point within the load. So your reference measurement point is there where sterilization temperature is achieved. Then once it is achieved there, then, then all the load items within the chamber should uh, attain sterilization temperature within 15 seconds or the 30 seconds based on your chamber size. Now, what are the uses of autoclave? So autoclave is used for the aseptic operations where aseptic filling is done. So we have to stylize filling assembly, which includes filling needles, tubings, which are used for the product filling. Components for filling filtration like vessels, filtration vessels, holding vessels, containers, glasswares, sampling bottles, which are used for the to ensure the sterility of the product. Garments in the grade B area, we have to have sterilized garments. So garments, rubber stopper, since they are coming in direct contact with the product, aluminum seals, since we are sending it to the grade B area, there has to be sterilized. Filters, product filters, silicon tubings, hand gloves, which are used. Documents and hand gloves, isolator gloves, or when we have filling wraps and wraps gloves has to be sterilized. Documents and label which are going inside should be sterilized. Components for environment and monitoring in aseptic areas. Components for area sanitizers like buckets, sponge mops. So in grade B, whatever you are sending, and if it, it can be sterilized, it has to be sterilized. That is the expectation from the regulators. Wipes, sterilization bottle, etc. Accessories like forceps, tools, spanners, clamps, biobreathable blippers. And there are a lot, many other items which need to be sent to the grade B area, sent to the aesthetic filling environment, and it has to be sterilized. So this is my, practically the first session on the autoclave. I have much more to say, but I don't want to make a very long session. So I hope this will be helpful and I'll making more videos on the same topic. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.